Jesus. The pure church is described by Christ this way. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you have preserved and have patience, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. From about 100 to 313 AD, the Christian church became persecuted. This is what Jesus says to the church of Smyrna. Do not fear those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. But history tells us that after the church endured its persecution, it became popular. And with this popularity, they were warned by Jesus about some unpleasant things. To the church of Pergamos, it was written, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. In addition to this, they were warned that they held two doctrines, that of Balaam and the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Both of these put them in a condition where they were living against the principles of God. Well, as Christianity moved from purity to paganism, Christians moved away from the populated areas where the vices of the day were. They went to the desert where the monks were, and they tried to find practical ways to free themselves from the prevailing sins of the day. And while there's a lot of virtue in this, it doesn't address the issue that ultimately the battle for those sins, they start on the end.